that, let's get it started. We're gonna do form A, which is the engine. I will be starting with my coolant tank, okay? It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked, it is not leaking. There is no missing nuts or bolts. It is at proper level. <laughs> my cap is secured, no cracks, no leaks, all right? I have all my engine hoses on both sides. They are properly mounted and secured. They are not cracked and they are not leaking, all right? I have my alternators. Who knows what an alternator doesn't look like? Ya no sabe como se un alternador. All right, so everybody here knows what an alternator looks like? Good, because it does change positions. All right, it changes positions. It could be here, it could be down here, it could be up here. It all depends, so pay attention, all right? It's always gonna be on the same side. But it should always be on this side, but it can be in different positions and it can look differently. There is some trucks that the alternator looks like the water pump. It's weird, but you know, it's an alternator. You have to look for the electrical Yeah, but on all of these trucks, at least for the exam, all your alternators will look like a normal one. So my alternator is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. There's no missing nuts, no missing bolts, and it is what? Bell driven. It is bell driven, correct, all right? And my belt is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It is not worn, it is not loose, and it has no more than what? Three quarters, three quarters, inch, three quarters inch of play, all right? Now, behind my alternator, I have an electrical cable. It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked, it is not cut, and it has no what? Exposed wire. No exposed wires, good job, all right? From there, I'm gonna move on to my water pump. It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It is not leaking. There is no missing nuts or bolts on it. It is also what? Bell driven. Bell driven. Guys, I know it runs off the same belt. The alternator and the water pump both run off the same belt, but they want to hear the belt twice. So, again, my belt is properly mounted and secured. Not cracked, not worn, not loose, and it has no more than what? Three quarters inch of play. And the final thing, I have no leaks under my engine. All right, let's move on to the front. This is not on your paperwork. It's not on your paperwork, but it is something we teach and something you guys need to say. All right, so in the front, I have my headlights, my signal lights, and over the top, I have my clearance lights. They're all properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, they're clean, they're visible, and they are in proper color, which is Amber in the front and red in the, front, in the back. We got red in the back. For those that don't know what amber is, it is this orange yellow looking color. Okay. I have my license plate. My license plate. Yep. It is properly mounted and secured. Alright, it is clean, it is visible, and there are no missing nuts or bolts. I know it is not here, but on the day of your exam it will be the it will be there. From there, we move on. Todos me están entendiendo, ¿verdad? No voy muy rápido, no voy muy suave. Todos están bien. Everybody understands me. I'm not going too quick or too slow. All right. Starting off on this side, I have my engine oil. It is between what? Add and full. It is between add and full. I check that by removing my dipstick, cleaning it, putting it back in, taking it out, and checking my oil level. Again, between add and full. All right. From there, I'm gonna go to my air compressor. And this is not your air compressor for the AC. This air compressor is for the tanks, all right? It is for the air of the truck. All right, it's properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked, it is not leaking. There is no missing nuts or bolts on it. And it is what? Gear driven. It is gear driven, okay? Gear driven. From there, I got my power steering tank. It is properly mounted and secured. All right, it is not cracked, it is not leaking. There's no missing nuts, no missing bolts. It is at proper level, and my caps are secure, no cracks, no leaks. And my pump is gear driven, okay? It is your pump, not the tank, the pump. All right, I know here some teachers explain that the tank is gear driven, which is the way the school was taught to say it, but in reality, it is your pump, okay? So, from there, I'm going to move on to my steering column. It's properly mounted and secured on what? Both sides. On both sides. On both sides. It is not cracked. It is not bent. There's no illegal welds or signs of rust on it. 
in my joints, they're what? It's clean and greased. Clean, clean, and, and, greased. clean and greased on That's both sides. Good job. All right. From there, I'm going to go to my steering box. Steering box. It is properly mounted to secure to the chassis. chassis. All right. It's not cracked. It's not leaking. <laughs> there is no missing nuts or bolts. From there, I have my five points of steering. Okay. Five points of steering. Steering on. Who here doesn't know what they are? Who here needs to know what they are and what they look like? Everybody here knows what they are. Yeah. All right, so we got our steering arm. We got our steering link. All right, we got our upper and lower control arms. And in the back, we got our tie rod. All right, it is prop they're all properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. They're not bent. All right, they're not worn. In my joints right here, they're clean and greased on both sides. I also did miss. There's no nuts. No missing nuts, no missing bolts, no missing kids. All right. Now, from there, I'm going to move on to something called SBT, right? What is that? What does that stand for? Who here knows what that stands for? Yes. Springs, yes, what and what? Brake system. Springs, brakes, and tires. Brakes and tires. Okay, springs, brakes, and tires. SBT. This is something that you have to do for every single form. A, which is the engine. B, which is the side. And C, which is the trailer. It is very, very important. Okay? So springs it is all my suspension components so i'm gonna look at what i got i see i have leaf springs if i have leaf springs i got what i got u-bolts and i have what i have brackets on each side right so my leaf springs they're properly mounted and secured on both sides to what the brackets they're not cracked all right they're not bent and there's no missing or loose what leaf spring right I have my brackets. They're properly mounted and secured on both sides to what? The chassis. The chassis. The chassis. They're not cracked. They're not bent. There is no illegal wells or signs of rust. I'm also not missing any nuts and bolts. And right here, I have no missing or damaged what? Bushings. Bushings. Correct. All right. From there, I have my U-bolts. They're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. And on the bottom, there is no missing nut. All right. From there, I'm going to move on to my shock absorber. Good job. It is properly mounted and secured on both, on both sides. It is not cracked, it is not leaking, and there are no missing nuts or bolts. All right? So, is that all? Yeah, that's all. So, no, no, no. That's all for springs. Oh. Yeah. So, I always look, I do it in categories springs, brakes, and tires. All right, so I'm done with springs. I'm now going to move on to brakes. And like you guys said, I'm going to my brake hoses. All right? My brake hoses, they're properly mounted and secured on both sides to what? So the coupling and fitting or the fitting and coupling, however you want to say it. No cracks, no leaks. All right. Behind there, I have my brake chambers. It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It's not leaking. There's no missing nuts, no missing bolts, no missing or loose what? Flaps. Good job. Right behind my brake chamber, I have my push rod. And I got my slack adjuster, right? My push rod and slack adjuster. They're both properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. They're not bent. All right? There's no missing parts, no missing pins. And I have no more than what? Where? I have no more than an inch of plate in my push rod when? When the brake is released, all right? So from there, we move on inside. I have my brake shoes or brake pads, either or. All right, they're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, they're not worn. All right, there's no holes in it, no fluid. What type of fluid? Oil or grease. Oil or grease, and I have more than a quarter inch of what? Pad material. Pad material, okay? Now I have my brake drum. My brake drum is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked, it is not bent. All right, there's no holes on it, no fluid. And what else? Oh, missing bolts or nuts. All right. That was a tricky one. I want to see if you All right. And yes, it has bolts and nuts. For, that, those, for those that don't know, the brake drum is held by your lug nuts and bolts. All right. So in reality, they are nuts and bolts. Okay. From there, I am done brakes. I'm now going to move on to what? Tires. My tires, right? So my tires are properly mounted and secured. They are in good condition. There's no cracks, no cuts, and no what? No bubbles. No bubbles on them. All right? My tires are at good pressure. I check that by using my air pressure gauge to what? Valve stem. Valve stem. 
All right? My tire is what? Evenly worn. Evenly worn, Evenly worn and has more than what? 432 inch of tire depth. All right, tire depth, tire thread, or thread depth. However you want to say it. Tire depth. You got three. Tire depth, uh, tire thread, or thread depth. Either or. All right? Now, in the front, we have 432. What's the back? 232. How about the trailer? All right, good job. Now, from there, my rim. It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It is not bent. There's no illegal welds or signs of rust. All right? All my lug nuts and bolts are present and what? Tight. <laughs> tight or secure, however you want to say it. All right, they're present and tight. There is no damage where? On the bolts. There's no damage to the holes, no damage to the bolts. And there are no signs of rust. Why? It's not loose. It's not loose. It means it is tight. Okay, this is one of the only things I don't want to hear. It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It is not bent. No, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear that they're tight. They're present and tight. They're all present and tight. And that there's no damage to the holes, no damage to the bolts, all right? From there, I have a what? What is this called? Up cap seal. How about the middle? Up cap seal. How about the trailer? Up cap seal. Job. So, I have a hub cap or hub seal, all right? It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It is not leaking. There is no missing nuts or bolts, and it is at what? Proper level. Proper level. I checked that by removing my cap and checking my level, all right? And the final thing I'm going to check it is my valve cap and stem. Both the cap and stem, all right? They're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked or leaking. Any questions on the engine, guys? Nobody has questions. This is the time to ask them. No? All right. <coughs> Moving on the side to form B, better said. The side of the truck. I'm gonna start off with my mirrors. All right, Clean. my mirrors are properly mounted and secured to the bracket. Damn, I lost my voice. I haven't done a pre-trip in so long, I'm losing my voice. My mirrors are properly mounted and secured to the brackets. They're not cracked, they're clean, they're visible. All right, and my brackets are properly mounted and secured to what? To the door. To the door, all right? There is no missing nuts or bolts and they are clean. My door, it is properly mounted and secured. It is in good condition. It is not cracked, it is not dented. There is no holes in it, and it what? It's gonna open and close properly, right? All right, guys, come around. I'm open the door. I have my door brackets on my door hinges, right? They're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, they're not bent. There's no missing nuts or bolts on them, all right? I have my my handles on both sides, all right? You got some here and you got some here, so you got to speak of both sides. They're properly mounted and secured, all right? They're in good condition. They're not missing any nuts or bolts. <laughs> From there, I have my rubber seals or my door seals, okay? On what? Both sides. On both, both sides. sides. You got one here and you got one here, all right? <clears throat> they're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. They're not cut and they're in good condition. And the final thing here, I have my window. It is properly open mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It is clean. It is visible. And it what? Open and open close. And close. It's going to open and close properly, right? From there, I'm going to move on to my steps. And if I had a catwalk, if I had one, I don't have one. If I had one, I would talk about it, okay? If you don't have one, you don't mention it. So, my steps, they're properly mounted and secured to what? To the chassis. To the chassis, right? They're not cracked, they're not bent. There's no illegal welds or signs of rust. All right, I'm not missing any nuts or bolts. There is no fluid on them. What type of fluid? Oil or grease. Oil or grease, and there's no loose items or obstructions, okay? From there, I have my fuel tank. It is properly mounted and secured to what? To the chassis. To the chassis. It is not cracked, it is not leaking. There's no missing nuts or bolts. My cap is secured, no cracks, no leaks, all right? My cap is secured to what? To the chassis. To the chassis, right? It's not cracked, it's not leaking, there's no missing nuts or bolts. My cap is secured, no cracks, no leaks. Also, I have more than what? One eighth. One eighth, more than an eighth of fluid. fluid. More than an eighth of fluid, all right? More than an eighth of fluid. One eighth. One eighth. One eighth. All right? If I have a death tank, I got a what? Death system. I got a death system, right? So my death system it is properly mounted and secured. It's not cracked. It is not leaking. There's no missing nuts, bolts, or clamps. 
Okay? For those that don't know what a DEF system is, just follow the blue cables. It'll lead you right to it. Look at it right here. But the DEF system is all of this. Okay? Now, from there, I'm gonna move on to my exhaust or my muffler, however you wanna call it. It is properly mounted and secured from where? From the engine. From the engine all the way to the back. Okay? It is not cracked. It is not leaking. There is no holes in it. All right? No missing nuts, no missing bolts, no missing or loose what? Clamps. Clamps. And there is no signs of rust and no signs of what? Carbon. 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 Very important. Okay? From there, I'm going to move on to my chassis and my cross members. Please, guys, you have to mention them separately. Okay? So... My chassis is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It is not bent. There is no illegal welds or signs of rust. All right? And no missing nuts or bolts. I also don't have any missing or damaged what? Cross members. Now, my cross members are properly mounted and secured on what? On both sides to the chassis. Or just save on both sides if you want. All right? Not cracked, not bent. There is no illegal welds or signs of rust. Also no missing nuts or bolts. From there, I'm going to move on to my what? Drive shaft. My drive shaft. Okay, drive shaft. It is properly mounted and secured on both sides. Both sides. It is not... You, you can say that. All you got to say is on both sides. All right? It is not cracked. It is not bent. And it is not what? Twisted. 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 It is very important to say that. Okay, you have to say that. And my joints, they're clean and greased on both sides. Okay? So, from there, I'm going to move on to what? Something I just did in the front. SBT. SBT, springs, brakes, and tires. All right, like I told you, this is very important. You have to do it for all three forms. Okay, so I'm gonna do springs. I'm gonna look at what I got for suspension. I'm looking, I see I have lee springs. If I have lee springs, I got what? U bolt and brackets. U bolts and brackets, right? And that is all I have for here. So my lee springs are properly mounted and secured on both sides too. To the brackets. To the brackets, they're not cracked, they're not bent. And there is no missing or loose what? These springs. These springs. These springs. My brackets are properly mounted and secured on both sides to what? To the chassis. To the chassis. Not cracked. Not bent. There is no illegal welds or signs of rust. No missing nuts or bolts. Or no missing or damaged what? Bushings. Bushings. Good job. My U-bolts are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. And there is no missing nut at the bottom. From there, I'm going to move on to what? What is this? Brakes. Brake brakes. Brake brakes. Right? I'm done springs. This is all I have in the back. So, I'm going to brakes now. So, my brake hoses are properly mounted and secured on both sides to what? Fitting and couplings. So, the coupling and fitting or the fitting and coupling. Okay? No cracks, no leaks. My brake chambers are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. They're not leaking. There's no missing nuts or bolts. No missing or loose what? Clamps. Good job. My push rod and slack adjuster. If you guys cannot see it, just know it's always going to be somewhere behind the brake chamber. All right? So, my push rod and slack adjuster are properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. They're not there's no they're not cracked, they're not bent. There's no missing parts, no missing pins. And I have no more than what? One inch of play. I have no more than an inch of play where? When the brake is released. Where, not when, where? When the brake is released. Where? When the brake is released. And a push rod. And a push rod. rod. <laughs> Alright, so I have no more than an inch of play. If I say where, it means in the push rod. When is the brake is released? Alright? The reason why I tell you that is because he might he might ask you that. You might say I have my push rod and slack adjuster and I have no more than an inch of play and he might cut you off and be like, okay, where? And he's, you're gonna be like, oh, when the brake is released, yeah. no, no you can more. say that too. Oh, okay. If you want to speak okay. to it, say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. So, I have my brake shoes or brake pads. Okay, brake pads. Okay. They're both mounted and secured on both sides. They're not cracked. They're not worn. They're not bent. No. There's no holes in it. No fluid on it. And what else? Clamps. Clamps. What do they have? Uh, more, uh, more, than more than a quarter inch of pad material. Oh. All right, remember that. If it's a brake shoe, it has pad material, so it could get worn. Make sure you have more than a quarter inch of pad material. All right. From there, my brake drums, they're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. They're not bent. There are no holes in it. No fluid on them. What type of fluid? Oil, Oil and grease. Oil and grease. And I'm not missing any nuts or bolts. 
From there, I'm gonna move on to my tires. All right, both of my tires are properly mounted secure. They're in good condition. They're not cracked, they're not cut, and they have no what? No bubbles. No bubbles, right? Both of my tires are at good pressure. I check that by using my air pressure gauge to what? To the valve stem. All right? Both of my tires are what? Evenly worn. And have more than what? 232. Good job. They're evenly worn and have more than 232 inch of tire depth or tire thread. All right? Now, since I have two tires, I got to speak of the space in between. So, in between my tires, I have enough space. All right, there are no obstructions in my rims. They're what? Body to body. They're body to body, okay? From there, I'm gonna move on to my rims. They're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked, they're not bent. There is no illegal welds or signs of rust, okay? All my lug nuts and bolts are present in what? Present in tight, present and secured, all right? There's no damage where? On the bolts. In the bolts, the bolts the no damage where? In the holes. In the holes, good job. <clears throat> no signs of rust, why? Because they're tight. They're, not loose. they're tight, they're not loose. Now, what is this called? <laughs> axle seal. It is an axle seal. All right, you got a hub cap or a hub seal. You have an axle seal and you have a hub cap or hub seal. All right? Now, it is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked, it is not leaking, and there are no missing nuts or bolts, all right? From there, I'm moving on to my valve cap and stem. Both the cap and stem. And you say what you see. I should have explained this at first. You say what you see. If you don't see the cap, don't say the cap, all right? But if you see both, like <clears throat> this one right here has both, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna say both, all right? So, my valve cap and stem, properly mounted and secured, both not cracked or leaking. From there, I'm gonna move on to what? Mud mud flap. Flap. I have my mud flap. It is properly mounted and secured to what? To the chassis, right? It is in good condition. It is not cracked. It is not cut. It is not dragging on the floor and not what? Touching my tire. It's also not missing any nuts or bolts on it. If it had DOT tape, for those that don't know what it is, you got DOT reflective tape. If it has it, mention it. If it doesn't have it, you don't need to say it, okay? So from there, I'm going to move on to the final thing, which is my what? Tail lights. Oh, my tail lights. All right, they are tail lights. I know a lot of people say brake lights, but they are tail lights. All right, why? They have multiple functions. They work as brake lights. They work as regular, you know, on lights, reverse lights, signal lights. They do everything in one. So they are tail lights, all right? Taillights. They're properly mounted and secured. They're not cracked. They're clean. They're visible. And they are in proper color, which is red. 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 All right. That is form B. You guys have any questions on form B? Please guys, ask me questions. I don't want to finish and everybody comes to me asking me a million questions. <laughs> if you have something to ask, say it now. It's now is the time, all right? No? All right, so let's move on to coupling system. So guys, the whole entire truck is very important, all right? Form A, B, and C are very important, but the most important out of the whole pre-trip is going to be your coupling system, cabin, and brake test. Cabin and brake test being the most important. All right, why are they important? Because they are mandatory, all right? That means that everybody here will be have to do coupling system, cabin, and brake. All right, everybody here has to do it, and they have to do it pretty good. Coupling has to be near perfect, cabin, it has to be perfect, all right? It gotta be perfect cabin test, especially the brake test, all right? So, please guys, if there's anything I want you guys to study first, it's gonna be coupling system, cabin, and brake. From there, you can move on to the rest of the truck, but do the whole truck, all right? So, starting off with my coupling system, I have both of my air hoses, all right? What is this one? The emergency. This is emergency, and this is service, service. okay? Both of my air hoses are properly mounted and secured on what? The both sides, sides. Both sides couplings. to the coupling and fittings, all right? No cracks, no leaks. My glad ends, they're properly mounted and secured and they're all the way in what? Lock no position. Lock position, no cracks, no leaks. My rubber seal is not cracked or leaking, all right? My electrical cable is properly mounted and secured on what? Both sides. Both sides, it is not cracked, it is not cut, and it has no, no exposed, exposed wires. wires. Good job. Now. Both of my air hoses and my electrical cable, they are not what? 
Tango, bitch, no tangle, and not not jogging. Tangled or dry, dragging on my truck or chassis, all right? Truck or chassis, all right? From there, let's move on to what? Apron. apron. To my apron, right? It is properly mounted and secured. It is not cracked. It is not bent. There is no damage on it. That is all you got to say, all right? It is not cracked, bent, or damaged. Please don't say it has no holes, all right? Because it has holes. It has holes. Now, in between my apron and my fifth wheel plate, I have... It's in a wick wood. Yeah, yeah, it has a lot. I have people that tell me it, that's why. I have a lot of people that have checked and they're like, oh, it has, it has no holes. It has holes, guys, all right? So, in between my apron and my fifth wheel plate, there is no visible light, space, or what? Yeah, Gap. Gap. All right, and my fifth wheel plate is what? Fully greased. It is fully greased. All right. My fifth wheel, it is properly mounted and secured or solid attached to what? To the platform, the platform base. base. To the platform base. It is not cracked. It is not bent. There's no missing nuts, no missing bolts, no missing pins. All right. My platform base is properly solid mounted and secured or solid attached to what? Chassis. To the chassis. It is not cracked. It is not bent. There's no illegal welds or signs of rust. I'm also not missing any nuts or bolts. I have my release handle or my fifth wheel release handle or fifth wheel handle, however you guys want to call it. It is properly mounted and secured and all the way in what? Lock position. Lock position. Lock position. No missing nuts, bolts, or no pins. pins. Okay, from there. We're gonna locking move to jaw. our lock jaw, our locking jaw, and our kingpin. All right, who here doesn't know what a locking jaw and kingpin are? Everybody here knows? All right, so my locking jaw, it secures around my kingpin and does what? Hold the kingpin in place. It holds my kingpin in place. It is very important to say that. My locking jaw secures around my kingpin and holds it in place. All right, my locking jaw and kingpin are both properly mounted and secured. All right, they're not cracked, they're not bent, there is no damage. That is all you gotta say, the same thing as the apron. Okay, and the final thing, in between my truck or my chassis, not my fifth wheel, my truck or chassis and my landing gear. All right, there is enough space. I know Ramon's video says fifth wheel, but it's wrong. All right, yeah, the fifth wheel will never hit. The chassis will. All right, any questions on coupling system, guys? So in the coupling system where you say no, no gap, no light, you have to say both? No light, space or gap? No light, that's it? No light, space or gap. Um, you can say one, but I recommend saying one. You can say one. You can say one. Here, the fifth wheel has the system for move the fifth wheel. You need to talk about that? Yes, um, sometimes. It depends if he asks or not. Yeah, because